JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for October the 23rd. I am Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the market. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded uh, mixed uh, again on Thursday and during the Asian morning Friday. It gained uh, against uh, the pound, the euro, SEC, NOC, and the Swiss franc in that order, while it underperformed versus uh, the Aussie, the Kiwi, and the Luni. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against uh, the Japanese yen. Now, the strengthening of the commodity linked currencies Aussie, Kiwi, and Luni, combined with the relative weakness in the Swiss franc, suggests that, market, uh, that markets turned back to risk on at some point yesterday. Indeed, although most uh, major EU indices traded in the red, the exception was uh, FTSE 100, which gained 0.16%, all three of uh, the major US ones closed in positive territory with uh, the positive morale rolling into the Asian session uh, today. Only China Shanghai Composite uh, was down. It seems that hopes over a potential fiscal package in the U.S. returned after U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi reported progress in talks with the Trump administration and said that uh, legislation could pass uh, pretty soon. However, White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow said that significant policy differences remain on the table, something that it is unlikely to result in a deal before the November 3rd election. On top of that, overnight we had the second debate between incumbent President Donald Trump and uh, then Democratic uh, candidate Joe Biden. It was a more civilized debate uh, compared to the previous one, with Biden coming through better than Trump according to market chatter. Perhaps that's why Asian indices traded in the green. Remember that uh, yesterday we noted that the Biden victory could prove positive for equities outside the US due to his potentially softer uh, stance on international trade. Now, as for today, focus is likely to fall on the preliminary PMIs uh, or the preliminary manufacturing services and composite PMIs for October from several Eurozone nations and the bloc as a whole, uh, the UK and the US. These data sets will give us a first taste on how the global economy has performed during the month of October with the coronavirus keep spreading fast and hitting new record highs in daily infections. Both the Eurozone manufacturing and services PMIs are expected to have declined to 53.1 and 47 from 53.7 and 48 respectively, something that will drive the composite PMI below the boom or bust zone of 50. Specifically, the composite index is forecast to have slid to 49.3 from 50.4. This is likely to prove negative for the euro, as it will reveal that the second wave of coronavirus infections is leaving more marks on the euro area economy. Now, in the UK, the manufacturing index is expected to have increased to 54.3 from 54.1, while the services one is anticipated to have declined to 55 from 56.1. This will result in a downtick in the composite PMI to 55.6 from 55.7. With regards to the US data, the manufacturing PMI is forecast to have inched up to 53.4 from 53.2, while the services one is expected to have ticked down to 54.5 from 54.6. The UK retail sales uh, for September came out uh, during the early European uh, morning. And uh, both the headline and core sales accelerated to 1.5% month over month and 1.6% month over month from 0.8% and 0.6% respectively, beating estimates of a slowdown to 04 and 0.5%. 
as uh, for the speakers, we have only one on today's agenda, and this is Bank of England Deputy Governor Dave Ramsey. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday. As from this Monday, due to the time change, the webinar will be held at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, a great weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.